Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at the shared responsibility model. And this is going to deal with security of and in the cloud. So when we're talking about customers, they are responsible for security in the cloud. So what does that mean? Well, whatever data that you put on AWS, you are responsible for it. So if you do not secure it, that is your fault. Um, or if you do not uh, turn on monitoring services to monitor sensitive data, that's going to be your fault as well. Uh, or there's a variety of different AWS services that you can use, and it's up to you to configure them. So if there is a misconfiguration, that fault is going to be uh, with you, okay? So those are your responsibilities. Uh, then we have AWS, and so AWS is, re has, is responsible for the security of the cloud. So the hardware, the operations of managed services, and the global infrastructure, okay? So all the things that you can't touch is what AWS is responsible for. Uh, and so this is actually just a pared down version of the share responsibility model. The full one uh, actually looks like this. Okay, and so you can just see that there's a lot more information here. So for the customer, we got customer data, platforms, application, IAM, OS, the network, the fire configuration, client side data encryption, server side encryption, network tra uh, traffic uh, protection. And then on AWS, we have the software and hardware, right? So for the software, you have your compute, your storage, your database, your networking. And for your hardware, you have, um, and the AWS global infrastructure, you have the regions, the AZs, and the edge locations. Okay, so I mean, this is the full list, but really, um, you just need to remember, again, for the customer, it's data and configuration for AWS, it's global infrastructure and hardware. Okay.